It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the trippy distort transition in After Effects. Hope you guys thought the preview looked good. Let's get right into the tutorial here. So now I've made a After Effects composition here. I have added two clips here and my composition settings are FHD with 24 FPS. And when you have your clips in your project open here, you're going to be adding an adjustment layer here. So I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to set a marker here and I'm going to cut the adjustment layer so it's going to be 20 frames in width. So it's going to be 10 frames to the right and then 10 frames to the left from the center. Just like that, now your adjustment layer should look like this here. And I'm going to be using a plugin for this, I'm going to be using the Sapphire plugin. And the first effect we're going to be adding is called the Distort Chroma. And here I'm going to set the amount to 0.15 and then you're going to be keyframing it. Go to the ending, set it to zero. Then go to the beginning, set it to zero as well. Now we get this distorted bubbles look here. Looks very trippy and cool. After that, I'm going to be adding an effect called distort blur. And here I'm going to be keyframing the blur amount here at one as it already is. And then set it to zero in the ending and zero in the beginning as well. And it's going to be creating this kind of look here. Looks super cool in my opinion. Makes it even more trippier. Then I'm going to be keyframing the blur lens as well. So I'm going to set the blur lens to 200 here. And then press the clock here to keyframe. Go to the ending, set it to zero. Beginning, set it to zero as well. Now it looks something like this. Super cool in my opinion. And then I'm going to be adding warp. Go to warp style and choose fisheye. Set the bend here to minus 50. Then keyframe, go to the ending, set it to zero. Beginning, set it to zero there as well. Now it's going to be making this zoom in look here, pretty cool. Then I'm going to open up the adjustment layer, effects, distort chroma, and here mark the keyframes and then press F9. And then open up the graph, and I'm going to make it very sharp this one, so drag these two in like this. Then drag these two down to something like that. Then open up the distort blur settings here, mark the keyframes. Press F9. Here we're just going to be editing the blur amount graph. So open the graph up. And here make the same looking graph as the one we just made. So something like this here. It's going to look very, very good. Now we can quit the graph. Then open up warp. Mark the keyframes here as well. F9. And here open up the graph. And here we're going to be making just a simple sharp graph. Drag these two at the top in like that. And these two at the bottom in like that as well. Just like this here. And this is how it looks now. Very clean in my opinion. Now to get the final touch here for this transition here, I'm going to be using my color glitch pack. And if you guys are interested in this pack, you can use the discount code Pelle to save $5. And I'm basically going to add a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y, make it the same length as the other adjustment layer. And here I'm going to be adding a color glitch effect 34. And you will get this kind of look here. I think it looks very, very cool and trippy. I'm going to be changing the adjustment layer for the color glitch effect to overlay. And this is how it's going to look now. Super trippy and cool in my opinion. And the last thing I'm going to do is just to make a fade in for the color glitch effect here. So open up the adjustment layer, transform, set the opacity to 100% at the transition point. Then go to the beginning, set it to zero. To the end, set it to zero as well. I think it looks very, very clean and a very unique look here. You guys can use for your projects, your music videos. And as I said, if you guys want to check this pack out, use the discount code Pellet to save $5. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial if you guys liked it. And don't forget to check out our website with even more amazing editing packs. And also don't forget to check out our socials and join our Discord server. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.